Do you often find yourself in a state where you study for hours from your textbooks but still find it difficult to cram everything into your brain? Well, study shows that cramming can increase your stress levels and can cause fear and anxiety, making it much more difficult to retain material. So, how exactly are you supposed to memorize so much material in the limited given time? Worry not friends, I am Keshwa and Tanika, your mentor, have got 3 effective scientific techniques to help you study better. So are you ready to find out? Let's dive in. First technique, SQ3R method. The best way to study is to pick up on key elements rather than the whole chapter and remember just that. That's how this method works. The term SQ3R stands for 5 levels of reading comprehension. Number 1. Survey. This step involves reading everything and highlighting the main elements, subtopics and diagrams. Number 2. Question. You need to write down why, how much and what you need to study from each chapter. Number 3. Read. Begin to read and mark questions and answers in the textbook itself. Number 4. Recite. This obviously means you need to read and recite everything out loud so that your brain is aware of the information. Number 5. Review. Test your knowledge using the questions you came up with and read again if necessary. This technique has proven effective especially before an exam. Are you waiting to learn study material the fast and easy way? And by easy we mean easy as a piece of cake. This piece of cake is called the Feynman technique. It is an efficient method of learning a concept quickly by explaining it in a plain and simple terms. It's based on the idea that states if you want to understand something well, try to explain it simply to a friend. So how can you put it into practice? Write the subject or concept you are studying at the top of a sheet of a paper. Then explain it in your own words as if you were teaching someone else. Review what you wrote and identify any areas where you were wrong. Once you have identified them, go back to your notes and reading material and figure out the correct answer. Lastly, if there are any areas in your writing where you used technical terms or complex language, go back and rewrite these sections in simpler terms for someone who doesn't have the educational background you have. Now this is a technique that's both fun and informative. The next one is retrieval practice. Do you like to study well in advance but then worry that you may not remember what you have studied later? Well. That is exactly where this method comes in. Did you know that recalling an answer to a question improves learning more than looking for the answer in your textbook? So how exactly do you do this? Use previous question papers. This way you test yourself to answer questions, learn from mistakes and revise without cramming information from textbooks. Be your own teacher. Create a test like questions by acting as your own teacher. Encourage your study companions to do the same and swap questions if you are in a group. And flashcards. Create flashcards and use them but be careful to work on your retrieval method. Remembering and writing down the answers to a flashcard is a lot more effective than thinking you know the answer and flipping the card over early. Know that you are more likely to remember the details too if you practice the retrieval method. Speaking of remembering things, we hope you remember to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy the videos we make. Let's talk about space practice. The last of the lot, the space practice. Now if you are someone who cannot study last minute, then this method is for you. Instead of cramming the night before, space practice encourages you to study over a longer period of time. That's why it is also called the distributed practice. When we are on the verge of forgetting something, our brains try harder to remember it. So spreading out your study time enables your mind to create connections between concepts and expand on knowledge that may be quickly and readily recommended in the future. To try this technique, review your study material in spaced intervals with this schedule. Day 1. Learn the material in class. Day 2. Revisit and review. Day 3. Again, revisit and review. After one week, revisit and review. 
after two weeks revisit and review now for this you need to start planning early even if your exams are months away this will help you hold yourself accountable so friends with the techniques we have shared we hope you can avoid cramming information and make your study time more effective and if you are looking forward to more tips and tricks to be an excellent student then like this video and share it with your friends too thank you